Hello, we will try to implement the velvet material using the cloth shading model, which is one of the shading models in Unreal Engine 5. First, create and open a material. To represent the velvet material, we will need four textures, fabric texture, noise texture, combined normal texture, and ambient occlusion, AO, texture. You can download these textures from our Discord channel. Please refer to the accompanying description for more information. To create these four textures, let's start by creating four texture sample nodes. Use the texture coordinate, multiply, and constant nodes to generate UV coordinates for the textures, as shown in the video. Right-click on the constant node and select Convert to Parameter to convert it into a parameter and name it UV Scale. This will allow you to adjust this variable in the material instance later. Now connect the multiply nodes to the UV nodes of each texture sample node. Set the respective textures, fabric, noise, normal, AO, for each of the texture sample nodes. To achieve a more natural representation of velvet, combine the fabric and noise textures using a multiply node. Use the Start Previewing node to see the combined result. Now it's time to specify the colors. Create two constant four vector nodes in a LERP, Linear Interpolate node. Connect the two color nodes to A and B inputs of the LERP node, and connect the combined texture to the alpha input of the LERP node. Set the colors to be brighter and darker shades as desired. Connect this node to the base color node of the material. Also, connect it to the metallic and roughness nodes. Connect the texture directly to the metallic node. For the roughness, create a clamp node to limit the glossiness to not go below 0.5. For the min input of the clamp node, create a constant node, convert it to a parameter, name it roughness min, and set the value to 0.5. Lower roughness values will result in a smoother surface with more glossiness. Connect the previously created normal texture directly to the normal node. For the AO texture, amplify the contrast using the cheap contrast node before connecting it to the in node. Create a constant node and set it to 1, then connect it to the contrast node, and finally connect it to the ambient occlusion node. With this, we have completed the base before creating velvet itself. Now we will work on creating the velvet material. Go to the material category in the left detail panel and change the shader model to cloth. The cloth shading model is used to represent fabrics with a thin layer of fuzz. When you change it, the fuzz color and cloth nodes are automatically created within the material. To calculate the value to be used for the fuzz color, create a fuzzy shading node. Create three constant nodes with default values of 0 0.8, 6, and 0 0.8. Convert these constant nodes into parameters, set their names and define the minimum and maximum values. Then connect them to the fuzzy shading node as shown in the video. When you connect a constant node with a value of 1 to the base color node, you will see the occurrence of the Fresnel effect. The core darkness controls the size of the darker area at the center, while the edge brightness adjusts the overall brightness. Power creates a larger contrast between the dark and white parts. Higher values make the distinction between black and white more pronounced. Next, connect the previously processed textures and the normal texture to the base color and normal inputs of the fuzzy shading node, respectively. Preview the node to see the Fresnel effect based on the textures. Before we connect the fuzz color node and the cloth node, let me explain their roles. 
The fuzz color node illustrates the color changes that occur when light passes through the surface. The cloth node receives a value between 0 and 1, which determines the intensity of the fuzz color node. If you used a textured mix with color for the fuzz color, the reflected light will appear in that color instead of white. Therefore, you should connect a texture composed only of white and black to the fuzzy shading node. While the cloth could actually use a value of 1, we connect it to the fuzzy shading node to express more irregular noise. If a constant node with a value of 1 is connected to both values, the entire surface will uniformly have a value of 1, which is unsuitable for representing the irregular reflection of light in velvet. To do this, we connect the fuzzy shading node separately to the fuzz color and cloth. Likewise, if we connect one to specular, all surfaces will reflect the same light and it will look unnatural. So we also connect the fuzzy shading node to the specular node. By doing this, we can create a shader that represents the material of velvet.